begin today's session. So as I said, in the, in the last class, uh, we were talking about per unit system. Still, there are some uh, points that are there uh, that we should cover regarding the per unit system. That, that is what we are going to do it today. So uh, I, we have discussed four problems in the previous class. So try to practice all those four problems. And uh, I have been repeatedly telling that you should try it on yourself. Only then you understood. So, uh, so just, just listening to the lecture is not sufficient. So let me write it down. Just listening lecture is not enough. So you should, you know, practice and you know, work out the problems yourself. So only then you will get doubts. and also understand. So, so let me begin by asking you any doubts. From previous class. So let's take a couple of minutes. If you have any doubts from previous class, uh, kindly ask me. From Portisri Ramula Engineering College. So how the per unit resistance is same as percentage losses? So uh, answer is uh, for both and they will be equal. So in yesterday's class or in the previous class, we had solved a numerical example, but if, if, if you don't solve numerical example and just write down the expressions, what is the expression for percentage loss? And what is the expression for per unit resistance? You will find the expressions are similar. So that is about uh, that one. So any other question? Is per unit uh, system applicable for three phase? So yes or no? So is per unit system applicable for three phase? So far I have been explaining only one phase problem. So if, if there is a three phase problem, how you use per unit? So in the video. So there are little bit, uh, uh, so how to apply? So three phase per unit system. So just take uh, one phase quantities and three phase quantities. So under one phase we have V 
phase. This is phase voltage and we have VL, this is line voltage. And we know that VL is root 3, V phase. Next, phase current. So I line is line current. So I line equal to I phase. This is for star connection. This is also for star connection. So for delta connection, So here, S phase is nothing but V phase, I phase, cos phi phase, or I can just write S is V, v into I per phase quantity. Here, I have to multiply with 3. So now, coming to per unit system, so here uh, V phase base is equal to V phase base is equal to I line base and S phase base equal to 1 by 3 of S line. Okay, so I have just written down that the phase quantities also you have to, if the base value of voltage uh, you want to get per phase compared to line, then you have to multiply by 1 by 2. Anyway, I think this will, uh, this will clarify if you solve one problem. So let me give you one uh, problem here. So the problem is like this. So consider consider a three phase two hundred KVA eleven KV by sixty six KV transformer. whose reactance or whose impedance is 0 plus J 5 ohms referred to HV side. So this is uh, Calculate per unit impedance mm -hmm. 
for three phase and for one phase. So this is the question. So I have uh, displayed the question on your screen. So can you can you take five minutes time and solve it? Line quantities for three phase. So we have S base is nothing but rating of transformer. This is nothing but two two hundred kVA. Then V base is nothing but line voltage of transformer. That is sixty six kV. But since the Transformer is star connected. The impedance sees only phase voltage. So, therefore, V base phase is equal to. 66 kV divided by root 3. So in that case, even S space also we have to each phase will receive one third power. Therefore, S base phase is equal to S base by 3. That is 200 kVA divided by 3. So, therefore, Z per unit is equal to, sorry, Z base is equal to S base line square divided by V base line that is also equal to so this is square square becomes too far let's, let's divided by V base line that is also equal to S base line divided by 3 divided by V base line divided by root 3 whole square. So as an effect what happens uh, the 3 and 3 square it will become they will get cancelled out. So then again you will get V base line. So which is also equal to S base phase by V base phase square. So finally the point is the base impedance is same for three phase or one phase uh, systems. So only condition is, see, if, if uh, I want to cal calculate Z base, the condition is in the numerator if I use three phase power, so S base three phase, then in the denominator I have to use the V base line. Then it will come correctly. Or I can use S base one phase and I can use uh, V base one phase, let me write one phase like this. So either both you have to use uh, three phase quantities or both you have to use one phase quantities. Both cases the base impedance will be same. So for our problem, so for our problem, so what is Z base? So Z base is equal to, so first I will calculate using three phase quantities, 200 kVA divided by 
66 kb square so what is this so this is 200 kva divided by 66 kb multiplied by 66 kb so this kb kb will cancel and if you do this calculation 200 by 66 So there is one more K also there. 200 by 66 into 66 thousand amperes by volts. So 4.591 into e to the power of four minus five, or 0. I always get is z square v square by s. I think that is where we got the problem. Okay, k k square. Please. Let me just check. That is sixty-six. So KV KV will get cancelled. So there will be one more K. One more V. Yeah, one more V will be there. So. So I get 66,000 multiplied by 66 divided by 200. So 21,780 ohms. So actually, this uh, this is coming so high value because our our values are not correct. I mean, not practical values. It it should be 200 MBA. Then we'll be getting the correct value 21.7. So anyway, so the, the z-base for three-phase considering three-phase quantities, we are getting this number. Even if you consider z-base using uh, one-phase quantities, even if I use one-phase quantities, then what will you get? So v-base phase divided square divided by s-base phase. So that is nothing but. We have to consider power also to the base uh, to the per unit. So in each phase, the power is 200 kVA by three. This is the power for each k each phase, and the voltage for each phase is 66 by root three square kVA. 66 kV by root three square. So if you actually solve it, you will get 66 kV square divided by 200 kVA into three, and this it will be into three, and the threes will cancel out. Finally, you will get again the same value, 21780. So, so some answer people are giving. So let's calculate that. Therefore, Z per unit is equal to Z actual divided by Z base. So Z actual is J five ohms divided by Z base is twenty one seven eighty. So how much are you getting? Yeah. So that is zero point zero zero zero. Yeah, two nine five J. So this is the answer. So the answer given one of the answer will be same uh, whether you are considering three-phase or one-phase system. 
because accordingly you have to consider the uh, three phase or one phase uh, voltages okay so uh, let's i'll just wait for a minute if you have any doubts you can ask uh, meanwhile we'll also go to the another uh, question so 1.22 from so from this textbook i am taking the problem number 1.22 okay so what is the problem so a generator is rated 500 MVA, 22 KV, it is star connected, and has winding resistance of sorry not resistance winding reactance one point one per unit find the ohmic value of the reactance so this is the question so obviously it is a three phase generator so it's a three phase generator and this total power is for all three phases and this 22 kilo volts is the line voltage and the windings are all star connected and has a winding resistance of 1.1 per unit so given this information uh, even the per unit impedance also is or reactance also is given so the question is find the ohmic value of reactance so can you just take one minute and try to solve this so we get 22 kv square divided by 500 mva so then we get 484 by 500 so that is 0.968 uh, so then uh, z actual equal to z per unit into z base so z per unit is 1.1 that is given and so z base is 0.968 so you'll get the answer 1.0648 ohms so this is the correct one refer to the generator so this is actually 1.23 in previous question if the bases are specified as 100 mva and 20 kv find the per unit reactance of the generator as per the new base so this is the question so again can you try so last time we had uh, derived a formula that is
that is uh, z per unit according to the second uh, system is z per unit according to the first system then multiplied by v base of the first system by v base of the second system square multiplied by s base of the second system by s base of the first system so using this formula i can calculate so let's do that so already this value is given 1.1 per unit and this this base voltage was earlier so right now we are discussing this question so base earlier it was uh, 22 kv uh, so divided by now the new base is 20 kv so multiplied by earlier the per unit was 100 now the new per unit is 500 so if we simplify this so we will get a value that is oh sorry this is sb so now if we simplify this we will get a value uh, 0 0.2662 this is per unit so the 1.1 per unit value converts to this so this is uh, let's say this is method 1 but since we also have the actual value of the impedance i can also do another method so what is method 2 so that will be ohms and this is nothing now i have the actual impedance also so actual impedance is 1.068 as i remember what we calculated before 0648 ohms so now simply z per unit is nothing but z actual divided by z base so i get 1.0648 divided by 4 for both the methods so uh, now we are almost half an hour left so let me let me do the last problem on per unit as far as your, our class is concerned then we'll uh, we'll we'll go to some other topic on per unit so since this is the last problem so it will be slightly lengthy so try to follow with me so the question is like this so of course when i say last problem it is strictly not the last problem always if you want to discuss some problem you can you are always free to uh, mention that and then we will we'll take it up so the the system is like this so there is a generator and the generator will have its own internal uh, reactants after the generator then there is a bus bar Of course, this is a single end diagram I'm drawing. So after the bus bar, then there are the transformers. So this is one transformer. This is another transformer. So then there is a two transmission lines are there. At the end of the transmission line, again, there are a couple of transformers. So again, uh, there is a one big bus bar here. So you can also intermediate bus bars. You can mark like this. On the other end, there is a uh, motor. So here I write motor. So this may be considered as a synchronous motor, which we will also uh, solve as per part of this. So now let's give some values. So this is transformer T1, transformer T2, transformer 33 and transformer 34 and this is generator 1 and this is motor 1 so the ratings are like this so this is 80 mva and 11 kilo volts so this is three phase star connected and the per unit reactance is 10% 
Okay. So when uh, I, I already told in the last class, we can all we can represent the reactants in uh, in percentage value, or we can also represent it in per unit value. So 10 percent means it is 0.1 per unit, something like that. So these are the parameters given for the first generator. Now what about the transformers? So this transformer, so since it is 80 MVA, I will give some somewhat uh, comparable values. Let's say this is uh, 40 MVA, but this one I can I can give it slightly higher, 60 MVA. These are the ratings. Now the voltage levels I want to keep it different. So let's consider this voltage level as. Uh, problem so I hope you are able to hear me can you please confirm you are able to hear me yeah okay so the question is there on your screen uh, the the system is described and then you the next step is we are going to solve this system so let me begin uh, in the because the time is less we I'll solve it myself so first I'll, what I'm doing is I'll just make a copy of this diagram. So what is the procedure? So step one, divide the system into regions. So this is the first step. So every time people uh, make a mistake in this step itself, and your first step is wrong, then your entire problem is wrong. So that is the problem. So how do you divide the regions? Already you look at the question, base uh, SB is given 100 MVA. So this 100 MVA will apply for all the components. Whereas the voltage base of 20 KV only applied for motor 1. So that is our hint. So let's create that region. So now I can create a region for only motor 1. And this transformer I can include along with the motor or I can include along with the line. So I can do it in any way. So just for the sake of simplicity, I will consider M1, T2 and T4 all together into one region. So, so this is my region 1. So let me mark it now. So this entire uh, area, this is your region 1. So region 1. So sometimes uh, they will give the, in the question, they will give the voltage, uh, base voltage for the generator. In that case, you can start on the left side and that will become your region 1 and then you go to the other, you see. So the, what are the components covered? T2 is covered, T4 is covered, and M1 is covered in the region 1. And what is the S base for the region? S base is same. So V base for the region 1 is 20 kilovolts. Now, how do you define the other regions? Everywhere, wherever you find the transformer, the region will change. So because there is a transformer here, and the ratio of the transformer is uh, 3 is to 1. So on the left side, you have high voltage. So this line itself will have a higher voltage. Now this question is, uh, what is the next region? So the transformer 3, 3 also I can include along with the line. So I'll define this as one region. So, so I can define this as one region. So let me mark that. So this is another region. So 
so this is region 2 so region 2 the base voltage is 60 kV now why I chose only 60 kV because the region 1 base voltage was 20 kV and this transformer ratio is 1 is to 3 that is why I have taken 60 kV for this now you can also ask another question why not include this line also into this region so that is not possible because there is a transformer here so the regions are formed wherever there is a transformer so let us go to the above one now what about this line 1 this line 1 I can create a new region and this transformer also I can include into that but since here I have taken so both ways you can do it the whatever border the transformers are there they can belong to both the regions so in this example since I have taken T3 along with the line T1 I will take along with the generator so I will define one region along with the generator like this so this entire I will define as one region the generator G1 and the transformer let us call this region 4 and finally we have that uh, the first one that is the first line so this line this line is region I think 3 is left out region 3 so what is the base voltage for region 3 so you have to look at the transmission line uh, the transformer here the ratio is 10 is to 1 so here if the uh, rating the base voltage is 20 for region 1 the region 3 base voltage will be 120 kilo volts now what is the base voltage for region 4 so the only link between region 4 and region 3 is through this transformer and you notice this transformer is uh, with the ratio of 132 to 11 kV so this is actually 11 is it 11 times I think it is 12 times so 1 is to 12 ratio so 1 is to 12 ratio so uh, I have to divide this 120 kV by 12 times to get the base voltage for this region so V base is actually 10 kV so why 10 kV you are getting base, base voltage because here the ratio is 1 is to 12 so I have to divide by 10, 12 to get the 10 kV base voltage of course the actual voltage is 11 kV rated and actual generator voltage is 11 kV here but it is ok so we have many times discussed this so and overall for all 4 regions S base so what is S base so S base equal to 100 MVA for all four regions so thus we completed the first step so what is the first step so first step is divide the system into regions so let me complete this based on transformer ratios so why we started from the right side is because in the question it is given that motor 1 will rated voltage uh, 20 kV can be taken as the base if that is not given then you can specify some base and then you can divide the regions accordingly similarly why I have con considered this T1 along with G1 you can also consider T1 along with Z1 uh, both ways you can do it later on calculations you have to do it properly ok so now uh, we have to convert all the all the impedances into a common impedance system so that is why that is where we get the uh, this one so le let me write it step 2 convert all uh, percentage in impedances to common system base so for this we will use that formula that is Z per unit 2 is equal to Z per unit 1 multiplied by V base I think it will be 1 V base 2 multiplied by S base 2 by S base 1 so I hope this is the formula 
Yeah. So this formula we use and convert everything into uh, the system based. Okay. So since our uh, time is limited and uh, our problem is long, uh, to to make it faster, let me calculate using the Excel. So let me switch over to Excel, and then I'll show you how to do that. Regions, components, and then uh, percentage impedance, percentage impedance, sorry, uh, that is uh, V base. V base 1, that is the existing V base 1, then I will say V base 2, so impedance 1, so here S base 1 and S base 2, so as a result finally our calculation we want percentage impedance. for 2. So these are my headings. So let us enter the data. So what do we have in region 1? So I think in region 1 we have 3 components or let me merge this. So if you refer to your notes, for region 1, we are having three components, that is M1, T2 and T4. M1, T2, T4. Now, uh, the S base for all these three, so I think I will move this column. And this column I'll move it. So as a, as a process you are also learning bit of Excel. Okay, so this is given data. So for motor 1, 100 MVA, 20 KV, 6%. 100 MVA, this is 20 KV and 6%. Similarly, for transformer T2, you can refer to your diagram. Now, whether you take 120 kV or 20 kV depends on to which side you, your transformer is considered. So, since the transformer is considered in region 1, we will take 20 kV. So, this is 50 MVA and 20 kV. And the data given is 4% for this. Similarly, transformer T4, 60 MVA and 20 kV, 5%. So, 60 MVA, 20 kV and 5%. Now, how, how we are given data, so I think let us specify that. So, up to here is all given data. So, what is there in region 2? In region 2, I have line 2 and T3. Okay. So, two components I have in region 2. I have line 2 and T3. So line here right now. So 60 MVA and which voltage you have to take 11 kV or 66 kV. So because this is on the considered into this region, I have to take 66 kV as the voltage base and it is 8%. So 60 MVA and then 66 kV and impedance is 8% for T3. So this L2 I will fill it later. Now what is there in the region 3? 
region 3 just has line 1 and its value is also given. So I think I will enter the value also here. 60 plus J200. 60 plus J200. And this one is 20 plus J60. I am directly mentioning the ohms, it is not percentage. Now region 4. So region 4 has two components. So let me highlight this two. Region 4 has transformer T1 and uh, generator G1. So what are the ratings? So T1 itself is rated 40 MVA and this time we choose 11 KV, not 132 KV because it is on this side. So 40 MVA and is 11 KV and 5% is the impedance for that. Whereas G1, it is 80 MVA, 11 KV and 10%. So 80 MVA, 11 KV and 10%. ATMVA, 11 kV and 10 percent. Okay, so now coming to the new base. So for all this, uh, this one, it is given in the question, take the base as 100 MVA. So it is 100 for all the components of the system. And what is the voltage base for all the components of the system? This we have just marked it. So for region 1, voltage base was 20 kV. So I put 20, 20 and 20 for region 1. For region 2, the base voltage is 60 kV. So these are we have defined. So 60. For region 3, the voltage is 120 kV. And uh, region 4, the voltage is 10 kV. So this is what we have just discussed. So uh, by the way, little bit check on time. Now it is 12.31. Uh, I will uh, try to conclude in next 3-4 uh, minutes. Uh, then maybe last round of questions we'll take and we'll, we'll complete, complete. So there were some uh, people saying screen is not visible, but I think by now it should be visible to you. Divided by voltage base 2 uh, to the power of 2 and again multiplied by S base 2 divided by S base 1. So I have just simply entered the formula whatever we have seen into the Excel. So since the values are same, I got the same 6% impedance for this. But uh, this may be different for different other things. So whereas pertaining to the line because the initial values are not given, this formula will not work. So I just delete those formulas. But here I got this uh, system. Now, now come to let us come to line number 1 that is 60 J200. So what are the base values for line number 1? So for line number 1 the base voltage is the, the existing voltage was sorry the base voltage we already have so I can just calculate the per unit voltage. So let us let us include one uh, row here. So Z base. So this is the base impedance for the transmission lines. So it is nothing but what is Z base? V base square divided by S base. So 36 ohms is the Z base for that. Whereas the Z base for uh, line 1 is 144 ohms. Now I have the Z base, so I can find out the Z per unit. Okay, since it is 20 plus J60, uh, individually cannot, this uh, number is not recognized. So let us write it like this. So I will say R and X. R, X. So R is 20, X is 60. Whereas for the line 2, R is 60, X is 200. So here I will calculate the percentage impedance. So 
I am running out of place. This also I will delete. Twenty by thirty six, and this one will be. 60 by 36. So whereas this one will be 60 by 144 and this one will be 200 by 144. So finally I got the per unit all the components of my system. So this answer I can take it back to uh, my solution and I can I can draw the reactance diagram. So let me just take a couple of minutes to draw the reactance diagram. Hopefully this should work. Which acts as a load. So this is my reactance diagram. So this is a simple uh, circuit which you can solve. Let's put the values. So the values are, uh, I can just look here for M1 it is 6%. So 6%. And uh, for T2, it is 8%. I remember T2 is here. And for uh, T4, it is 8.33%. And the impedance of line 1 is 0.416. So instead of that, I can write it. So this is 41.6% uh, plus J, 138.8%. So something like this. So this is the impedance of the line 1. Similarly, impedance of the line 2 is from, from this I will get the value that is 55.5% plus J 166.6%. Now what about this one? This is uh, transformer T1 that is 15.125% uh, percentage, whereas this one is J transformer T3 16.133 percentage and finally this one uh, impedance of the generator one 15.125 percent so like this uh, now it's like a simple solution to solve so if now the question is if the load is given here and uh, this load voltage is given you can calculate what is the supply voltage required to meet that load and what are the currents and everything you can calculate so this is a re reactant diagram with per unit values in fact, percentage values. So this constitutes the final. Uh, you got this point. So slightly we went uh, extra time. So let me just wait for one diagram like this. The final answer. Okay, I think.